today is the most difficult day I faced in my 41-year political career. It was hard for Assemblywoman Janet Dupree to announce she's stepping down at the end of her term. Sometimes the most difficult discussions we need to have are with ourselves. One of the major reasons for the choice was a diagnosis of glaucoma. I needed to think about whether I want to be a nighttime driver, especially in Albany traffic, two years from now. Dupree started her political career in the county legislature. She then became county treasurer and in 2006 was elected to the state assembly. She described her 41-year career as rewarding. Something she's most proud of, co-sponsoring the autism insurance bill and voting in favor of marriage equality. But despite her successes, she admits there have been challenges. They include combating New York's opiate epidemic and assuring proper services are available for people with developmental disabilities and mental illness. Something she wants to make clear is that she'll continue to stand up for the men and women who work in the prison system, something she made sure to do following Richard Matt and David Sweat's escape from Clinton Correctional Facility last June. To defend those officers who do a very difficult job under tough circumstances. She says the thing she'll miss most is serving the people in the 115th district. My true passion for this position as the assemblywoman is the time spent working with thousands of constituents throughout the 3200 square mile district. But she says she's excited to spend more time with her friends and family, especially her husband, children, and grandchildren right here in the North Country. There is absolutely nowhere else I want to be.